Hey college student, do you ever find yourself asking the question, what career is right for me? Yeah, you're not alone. And in this video, I am going to give you a simple framework to test out your interests and then translate that into a career path that you can get excited about. Sound good? Let's go. Hey there, I'm Jenna Ryan from the internhustle.com and this is Initiative Muscle Monday, helping you to start each week with an intentional step toward a successful future. Let's do this. Okay, so if you're a college student, up until this point, your life has been pretty prescribed. And when you're in college, outside of picking your major, your day-to-day -day is pretty much laid out for you. You go to class, you participate in some extracurriculars, maybe on the weekend you cheer on your football team. I mean, you know how to be a college student. Then one day it hits you. You have no idea how to do this thing called life once you graduate. What do you want to do when you graduate? You start to feel the pressure of college graduation closing in on you. You say, what is the right career for me? And you start obsessing over your future career path, or in this case, the lack thereof. And I get it. These are big questions because your career is going to play a big role in your life. You are going to spend a lot of time at work and you wanna be happy and fulfilled and successful and make an impact, all the things. You want to make the right career decision for you. One thing I want to point out before we get started is that your career path is an evolution. You can't and you won't have it all figured out before you graduate from college. And you don't need to. What I'm sharing with you today is a three-step framework to make the task of kicking off your career path a little bit easier to wrap your head around. But let's not go too far without learning where you're from. If you are a college student, a recent grad, or just a proud alumni, go ahead and give your school a shout out in the comments below. Okay, so let's just start with painting the picture. All of the endless career opportunities out there can seem like a large body of water with no end in sight. You need a way to navigate through these possibilities and land on a good fit for you. But where do you start? Step number one, identify an interest. So let's go back to our endless sea of possibilities and pretend you're on a ship sailing through it and you need to pick a destination to explore. You need to start by picking one interest, just one. Staying focused on this interest is going to keep you from drifting further away to sea. So I don't care if society is telling you to do one thing because you majored in this, or you feel like you need to compete with friends out there and have the most successful position when you graduate. Keep your focus on your one interest. Again, that's where we're gonna start, that's our North Star, that's the destination. I'm going to show you how this worked with my own personal journey as a college student because I too was once trying to figure out what the heck I was going to do when I graduated. Now you're going to have more than one interest. I sure did, but I started with one that shined brighter than the rest and that was sports. I love sports and I thought just plain and simple how cool would it be to work in professional sports. Now what exactly was I going to do in professional sports? I didn't know yet but I love sports, I wanted to work in professional sports, that's where I'm starting. Step number two, explore a potential path. Okay, so back to our exploration at sea. You're still out at sea, but now you have a destination in sight. But if we're being honest, your destination's hazy at best. You still have to dig in a little bit deeper and figure out what it actually is about that interest that you wanna pursue as a potential career path what might be the best path to get you to your destination. Now the goal here is to identify and explore a path quickly. You wanna learn if this is an interest you actually want to pursue, or if you should pivot and move on to something else that excites and fulfills you more. There's no need to spend a lot of time and energy navigating the waters to only end up in a destination that doesn't serve you. So if you recall, I wanted to work in professional sports. And that can go so many ways. There are hundreds of professional opportunities in professional sports. I mean, sports broadcasting, league operations, sports medicine, athletic performance, sports management, you get the idea. I had to quickly drill down and get a sense of what excited me the most, what path excited me the most. For me personally, I grew up surrounded by elite athletes. I had a father who was a head wrestling coach at a major university. I was a competitive gymnast myself, so athletic performance just always fascinated me. So I decided to start there. But from there, I had to really narrow it down and see what type of athletic performance work did I gravitate towards. So there were a few things I did. 
I went to good old Google and I just started looking up athletic performance jobs in professional sports. When I actually dug in on my own a little bit, I realized that I'm much more interested in helping athletes train to become their best than rehabbing them from an injury down the line. So that was easy. I eliminated athletic trainer, I eliminated physical therapist from what I was interested in. The next option was, you know, a sports nutritionist. That's definitely helping an athlete become their best. But uh, if I'm being really honest, I love Taco Bell way too much to be giving athletes advice on what they should or shouldn't be putting into their bodies. That one was out. So then it really kept narrowing things down for me and I finally landed on strength and conditioning coach or a physical performance coach. So from there, after I learned a little bit more about those roles by researching things online and reading books and just learning more and more about those specific professions, I then looked to see who do I know? Who can I talk to, whether it's a friend or a family member, or maybe it's a friend of a family member that is already in this profession that would be able to give me some unique insights and just kind of continue to help me as I'm going through this process. And so I reached out for a couple informational interviews and it was those informational interviews, one of them actually, that led to my first internship. And this is where I really got to see for myself firsthand what this profession would be like. I also got to ask myself, am I still interested in this? And that's what takes you to step number three in the framework, evaluate your experience. Well, depending on your findings, you're gonna actually reach one of two outcomes. You'll learn that you are in fact interested and you're excited about pursuing this career path for now. Or you'll learn that you're not in fact that interested and it's time to pivot and pick a new destination. And the journey actually is easier in this one too, because you've done it before. You've actually built up a valuable skill set in exploration and you've kept distractions at bay. I've personally experienced both of these outcomes in my journey. And so in the case of my first internship, it opened the door and gave me exposure to training athletes, which is what I really wanted to do. However, if we go back to step one and we remember what my interest was, it was working with professional athletes. And so I made it my goal to land my next internship somehow training athletes in professional sports. But then it was actually with my second internship that I realized, mm, it's time for me to pivot. This might not actually be what I thought it was gonna be. And while I had an amazing opportunity to intern in professional sports, in a training capacity, which is exactly what I had an interest in doing, I learned it wasn't really gonna fulfill me for my long-term career. And I had picked up new interests, still in professional sports, but I learned I wanted to maybe be on the sports management side. After going back to step number two and doing some research and some outreach to some connections that I had made in my previous internships, I realized I had a pretty solid connection to someone at a sports agency. And so that's ultimately what I did. I landed my third internship at a sports agency. And ultimately, it was all of these different experiences that led me to the perfect job for me when I graduated. A job I didn't even know existed, but I wouldn't have gotten there had I not exposed myself to things that interested me and learned along the way what I did and didn't like. And so while it's not gonna be the same path for everyone, everyone can start by taking action now. And it's those small consistent steps forward that are gonna open your mind, open the doors to new opportunities and get you one step closer to answering the question, what is the right career for me? Because here's the thing, I want you to find something that excites you. I know how good that feels. And if there's one thing I can tell you, it really just comes down to your action. If you put these three steps into play, your actions become a lot more focused and you don't have to be distracted by everything else that's going on out there. But action definitely beats flailing around and whining that you don't know what you're supposed to do when you graduate. Or perhaps even taking something that you're not excited about and you end up loathing because you just needed to get a job out of college. Action equals results, and it's going to set you up for success going forward. Just remember to identify an interest, explore a path, and then evaluate your experience. Rinse and repeat. I hope you enjoyed this video and my simple three-step framework to helping you navigate the journey that is the beginning of your career. It's such an exciting time. I know it can seem scary, but just embrace it because you have a whole career ahead of you. And this is the very start where you get to kind of make it your own and really what you want it to be. If you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe below. Leave a comment, share it out with a friend, and check the description for some additional resources that will be helpful to you on your journey. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back next week for another Initiative Muscle Monday.